British post office bosses saw the benefits of the railway and decided to start moving mail on the tracks in 1830. Liverpool to Manchester, one of Britain's first mainline railways, was the first route. Eight years later, onboard staff began sorting letters in transit, leading to the early travelling post offices. Within a decade, the government had used the railway to accelerate the growth of the postal system. There were more than 130 TPOs in the UK in the run-up to World War I. But they only carried and sorted first-class post by the late 1960s. Until 1971, workers would snatch bags hanging from trackside posts and drop others from the train into nets beside the railway line. Issues like safety, timetabling and falling letters numbers led to the end of TPOs, with the last one running in 2004. Mail is still transported by rail today, without sorting staff on board, and we're innovating to bring more mail back on trains for faster deliveries. With thanks to Royal Mail, the Postal Museum and National Railway Museum.